All right, thank you for tuning in. I'm so excited about this video because uh, we are going to go back into spatial, talk a little bit about how the metaverse and AI, when we talk about that potential convergence, what that looks like. So this is gonna be a really great video. We're gonna go into one of my spatial metaverse rooms uh, so you can see what a, a brainstorming breakout room looks like in spatial and really see how this can not only tie in to the social aspect of the metaverse, but education as well. So make sure that you, you click that that like button, subscribe, and the notification button. If you're listening on the podcast, make sure that you uh, leave a comment and share share the the uh, podcast and share the videos with a friend. Definitely, that is great to great way to share information and that and that and it's free. Doesn't cost you anything to do. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots All right, so I'm gonna jump right into this And go to Spatial.io Spatial.io uh, For those of you who are listening in i recommend to to see the video of this and to get the full experience number one you can go to spatial.io and log in um, and just explore different metaverse worlds also you can go to the youtube and you can watch the video and take a look at, at what we're doing so as you you can see this is the the landing page for spatial i am already logged in we're not going into any of the the rooms that are available you can take a look at the previous video kind of see how i explain how ai can help with engagement in many of these worlds as you can see in the gauntlet or in a captured world, there's 4,500 people in there. Um, Squid Game, there's 5,000 people in there. And this is worldwide. But what I wanted us to, to do is my MySpaces. So if you, if you see here, I clicked on, uh, there it is. So now we've, I've clicked on my profile, I'm already logged in. These are some of um, the spaces that I've created. I've got accounting spaces, um, some spaces that I used for presentations um, as well. Um, one is for a class that I had. So let, you know what, let's go into um, this busy space and what we're doing, we're going into this metaverse room that I've created, which I can have uh, as a public or private space and invite people to come in. Now, if you have the link to this particular space, you're able to come in, you're able to join the space, you're able to participate and interact, and you can come into that space at any time. Now, why is that important? So when we talk about AI and we talk about how it can actually benefit, um, it can actually benefit uh, um, I'm gonna move this around. So if we talk about AI and how it can actually uh, benefit the, um, the metaverse is that imagine if you're in here and you're, uh, there's no one else here. So who can you interact with? So this would allow for you to have 
someone in your space available to answer questions, to kind of talk through things um, at any time. This is a little lesson that I put together in here, an accounting lesson, an accounting board that, that's in here as well. These are some videos. Um, my good friend, Simon Sinek. Um, but yeah, I wanted to, um, let me just lock up the quarter. Uh, um, bring this up at, I need to change my outfit too. I just wanted to bring this up that it, the, the AI into the uh, metaverse can really increase that engagement because right now, if I'm going to teach a class or engage with others, I would have to be in here. And the downside is that anyone can come in at any time and um, anyone can come, come, I didn't mean to take a picture. Anyone can come in at any time and join the, uh, the room, but um, they won't have that engagement. So it takes a lot of that burden off of myself um, as well. So I thought I would share this and I thought this would, would be an inter interesting way to show how things are uh, set up, especially in uh, a place like spatial, uh, where you have so many different rooms and so many different places for a social experience. Um, so I think that it's it's very uh, important that we think about what's happening and how these technologies can converge and how they can connect and how they can combine into um, other use cases and actually where these things are going. So when you think about the the metaverse or you think about um, you think about uh, uh, the metaverse or you think about these different spaces, where is all of this going? So right now I'm in here in this room, but who can I interact with? Right. So I'm in here, the meta, and there's other people who can come in. Let's go in the marketplace. Uh, travel to this marketplace. So there's other people that come in, we can talk, we can chat, but um, there has to be someone there physically. So I think AI gives us this solution. Actually, I'm gonna stop sharing. I'm not gonna go to the Meta Planets marketplace, but I think that you get the point with this and how I see that this is definitely going to add value to the metaverse. And if you think about virtual worlds and many people own their own virtual worlds and in these worlds, they hire people to kind of gatekeep these uh, visitors to their world. Now you can have an AI avatar to do that uh, 24 seven for you. So I think this is very interesting. Let me know what you think. I love to, th those comments. I enjoy them as well as uh, let me know, you know, if you've gone to spatial.io. It's a, it's a very interesting platform. As you know, uh, Microsoft shut down all space VR. Um, so we've got spatial, we've got Verbella. There's a Mozilla, shout out to Mozilla Hubs. Um, they, they gave me a, uh, a, a, a like for one of the videos where I featured their platform. So uh, I really appreciate that. Um, but make sure you try them out and you can see, you know, many of us, we think about, well, where is this going to be in two years? Where is this going to be in three years? You, you, if you see how these platforms and these gaps in the various platforms and how these can fill in those gaps, I think it's very interesting to see and to also understand how these business models work. Because the question is, 
uh, even especially right now, Meta just uh, released their uh, VR headset. Apple's going to release theirs. How does all of this tie in? What can you do in these places? So I think it's very uh, important to take a look at this and see how the technologies can converge and come together. So I really love to hear what you think. And thanks again, spending time. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe that, that you can get more of the content uh, as we move along. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling